friends, it's M here with The Mom Edit. If you're new here, The Mom Edit is a shopping and lifestyle site where we basically try to cull through all of the fashion and trends out there and find picks that we really think are the best that are gonna be worth your time and at the end of the day, your money. All of the contributors on The Mom Edit have very distinct points of view when it comes to fashion, so it's kind of fun. We each like something a little bit different, but our goal overall is to find pieces, whether it's something that's like bohemian or more classic or preppy or grungy or what have you, find something that is gonna be the best investment for your buck. Sometimes that means it's a budget piece, sometimes that means they're investment pieces. Today we're talking about denim that happens to be under $100. It was just a happy coincidence. So without further ado, I'm gonna go over four pairs of jeans and one pair of kind of trouserish pants. So five pair of pants in total that I have been absolutely living in for the past few months. Like I said, all of them are under a hundred bucks. And despite that, they're all pieces that are gonna live for a long time in your closet. They wash really well, they wear well, they're easy to care for, the quality is superb, and the fit is more or less a no-brainer for all of these. So I think you're gonna dig them. Well, let's get started. The first pair that we're talking about today are Gap's barrel jeans. If you you follow us on social media at all, Instagram, Facebook, um, or read along with us on the blog. I have talked about these jeans so much over the past few months. They are some of the jeans that I've worn the most since having our second daughter. They are forgiving in terms of fit in the waist because they're not <laughs> tight through the middle. They're not really a mom jean. They're kind of like a skater jean that tapers slightly. I have them in like four or five washes and you can't go wrong with any of them. They have some of the pleating style up here. I've not tried those, but any of the flat front barrel jeans jeans that are 100% cotton, you're not gonna go wrong. I wear these true to size. Um, I'm typically a size 25, so I wear these in a 25. They're just phenomenal. They're so, they're slouchy, they're cool. It's almost like a boyfriend jean, married a mom jean, married a skater jean. And because they're not tied around your waist, it's, I don't know, like a low rise vibe, but with a high rise. Does that make sense? They're great and they're frequently on sale, but full price, they're under hundred bucks. Okay, the second pair of jeans that we're talking about are as classic as it gets. These are Levi's 501s. This is the Athens Rank Wash. You can see they came distressed, but I have further distressed them just by wearing the heck out of them. But what you want, if you're gonna get a wash that's not this wash, is just make sure that you get a 501 crop that is 100% cotton. I buy these, again, in my true size. I just break them in over time. Do some squats, do Julieta's spray bottle Trick where she uses a spray bottle and moistens the areas that are snug and then just lives in them until they dry and they will fit like a glove. Or you can, if you want a little slouchier fit right out of the gate with no maintenance whatsoever, you can order up a size. I like a distressed jean. I don't generally like this much of a distressed jean. I need to do a little patchwork. But this is what happens when your toddler is learning how to stand and pulls up using your distressed holes as handles. Levi's 501 cropped in rigid denim. Do it. Number three, another jean from Gap. These are Gap's low stride jeans. It is worth noting that if you are very vehemently against low rise, they make, I think, a high stride or at least a mid. So the same style wide leg jean, but with a higher rise. I love a wide leg jean with a low rise because it just feels like what I wore in high school with like etnies and a baby blue camisole. The fit on these jeans, I bought them per the reviews one size up and I don't think that was necessary. They are extremely extremely like falling off my hips. It's a cool look, but it's kind of a, you're, you're tugging at them all day. So if I were to buy them again, I'd buy them in my true size. So I would say buy them in your true size, but because of the slouchy fit, there's no break-in required. I mean, they're just gonna be like low and loose right from the go. They're like a cool California jean. Definitely gives off a super hardcore 90s vibe, so it depends how into that look you are. But yeah, you can even see from me holding these up, they sit so low on the hips, but it's not like an obscene Britney Spears, the flies like itty bitty fly situation, you know what I mean? See, it's got a very normal size fly. They just happen to sit kind of crazy, sexy, cool, a little bit lower. In Number four, we've got one more pair of Levi's. These are Levi's rib cage straight ankle. Wow, I'm realizing that I really like medium wash blue jeans with distressing. They feel like you thrifted them and they are just the most gorgeously broken in pair of vintage jeans. They are so, so soft and buttery and extremely comfortable, but they have the look of rigid denim. And to be clear, the lyocell is not stretchy. So these are not stretch jeans. They are just incredibly soft and forgiving cotton jeans with lives. <laughs> So they're not 100% cotton. They look and wear like the most thoroughly broken in pair of rigid denim jeans you could possibly find. These are frequently on sale uh, 
for well under 100 bucks and they're so timeless. They look great with crop sweaters, they look great tucked, they look great with a kind of oversized button down, a long cardigan, all the things. The wild card. These are not what I would technically call jeans. I would call them more of a trouser, but they're definitely on the casual side. These are Hudson jeans, paper bag waist, wide leg, I think. They have this cool drawstring waist and they are a heavyweight chambray. So the cool thing about these is they kind of trick you because they could be a summer jean. They look excellent paired with like a linen shirt or a little tank top or something easy breezy. But because it's a heavyweight chambray, you can get away with pairing them with a tucked sweater or something like that for winter and spring. So they're far more versatile than some of the other chambray-ish style pants that are out there. They are a slightly cropped length. I should mention I'm five foot five and a half. They look great with a high shaft Chelsea boot. They look great with a ballet flat. They look great with checkered bands. I bought these in my true size. I can get them on without unfastening the button because they have this elasticized waist. If you want them to stay up without having to actually rely on cinching the belt, I would size down one. They're extremely comfortable in my true size, but I have to cinch that belt up and make sure that they are over my hips or they will straight up drop off my body. And that's it.